Now, by the way, to our interview with the driving force behind one of the top grossing movies at the box office, This is 40. Our very own Lara Spencer sat down with producer, writer, and director Judd Apatow. Uh, the film, uh, talk about his latest film that's in theaters right now. He is the man behind hit films like The 40 Year Old Virgin, Knocked Up, and now writer, director Judd Apatow is back on the big screen with a new comedy called This is is 40. I know, yes, it is. Actor Paul Rudd and Apatow's real life wife, Leslie Mann, are starring in the film, as well as your daughters. Hello, Judd. We have so much to discuss. Let's do it. Let's talk about the girls. <laughs> Let's talk about Leslie. It's a real family affair on a topic that, for any of us who are, you know, yeah. living in the, the, the 40s, yes. we relate to this in a very funny way. How was it working with the whole family? Uh, it's I like I like it because then I don't have to meet other people. <laughs> I don't want to meet people not in my family. Why would you ever want to do that? That's scary. <laughs> uh, I want to show everybody a clip. Here's just a little sampling of what you'll get in this very very funny film. Take a look. You want to get a massage or do something fun? It's a bit. Forty's huge. I'm turning 38. Okay, 38. We will move on. Isn't it weird that our birthday is the same week and then we're gonna have a party and it's just for me? No, I don't think it's weird at all. Because you're turning 40 and I'm turning 38. So there oh, she is. I was leaning for my cup. That looked oh, that's weird. all right. You know what? This is a, an informal conversation <laughs> exactly. between two Long Islanders. That's right. Let's, Very happy. Let's, let's do the rest of it in let's a Long Island Let's talk like accent. we really do, because we've really trained ourselves not to have our accents. Yes. Um, no, there was Leslie with Paul Rudd. We first met them in Knocked Up. Mm -hmm. And here they are again. Why did you feel you wanted to tell more about their story? Uh, I just thought there were so many weird things happening in my house with my kids and Leslie and the way we relate and love each other and fight with each other seemed kind of nuts and maybe it would make people feel better that their house isn't the only crazy house on the block. But, but you, you speak through these two characters, Debbie and Pete, and uh, I love that you've said that they're talking about the script with your wife has been sort of a coded conversation because yes. you can talk about idiosyncrasies and kind of annoying things yeah. using the characters. Like, hey, wouldn't this be a funny scene? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be funny if we did a scene where Debbie admits she's really controlling? <laughs> And should, Leslie? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So is this a case of art imitates life? Uh, a little bit. It, it, some, sometimes I think of it as an apology for how gross I am. Uh, you know, I, I, just to show how men drive women crazy. Uh, and uh, I'd like to say your Ann Taylor Loft outfit looks excellent. Oh, yes. It looks uh, awesome. Ann Taylor takes a little bit of a hit in the movie. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I, I've never even been there. <laughs> but the line was incredibly <laughs> deft and well written. Yeah. As is the whole thing. And you see character actors in here, just really some of the greats. Melissa McCarthy, yes. little scene, but boy, mm -hmm. does she steal the show. And I'm so yeah. glad I stayed for the credits. There's a, a blooper that you share that is just raucous. What was it like shooting that scene with her? Well, Melissa McCarthy from Bridesmaids has two scenes in the movie. And they're like maybe the two funniest scenes in any movie I've ever made. I mean, she has that thing where when she looks you in the eye, it's like madness. And, uh, and she tears down the house, and there was so much extra stuff the entire Entire credits yeah. was watching her work, and and people uh, really respond to it. And also, your your wife and poor Paul Rudd couldn't keep a straight face. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, but it's beyond that. It, it it reminds me of Chris Farley when Chris Farley would look you right in the eye. You had to laugh. There was no escape, and yeah. she has that. Also, in the movie are your two real life daughters, mm -hmm. and they're terrific. Are you comfortable with the fact that you could have stars on your hands? Uh, no, I'm shutting it down. <laughs> I uh, I didn't uh, I didn't do it to yeah. launch anything. Yeah. I just wanted my movie to work so you know if Scorsese calls them you know they're not available uh, M M Marty <laughs> I call him Marty in my brain and my yeah. fantasy yeah. he would allow that. I do too but not in uh, real life I'm terrified no I would really <laughs> shut him right down <laughs> hey everybody this is 40 is terrific it's in theaters right now and Judd we thank you so much for being with us great to be as here always all right